Okay guys, so this is an update on the headlight mod that I've been doing. Now a lot of people have been saying, ah, oh, you gotta cut off these sharp edges, and I do. And I actually, this is really ugly right here. This, this was just a total rough draft. I just wanted to see uh, how hard it would be, and I think I've come up with a better plan. So hopefully you haven't done this yet. Um, the lights are still good to go, but I've found a different way to do it on the the uh, angle here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to measure out 18 inches, and if you get the same piece that I did, so this is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 inches. These are each 3 inch segments. You're going to cut it off right here. This is going to be where you bend the uh, bar back to go back to your bolts. And then your bolts are actually going to bolt in right here, and right here, and right here, and right here. And as you can see, this one's elongated, and so that one will actually, uh, you won't have to file anything. Just use that. This is where this bar is going to bend back, right here and here. This is going to be where this is cut. So the lights actually sit right here and right in here. And so this, this will cut to here and then over. Um, I'll show you what this looks like when it's all finished. But yeah, bend, bend, cut, 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 and then cut across, and cut and cut across. Let's do this. Okay guys, so I've made the first two cuts along the edges. Again, this is all hacksaw stuff so that you don't have to worry about any of that. You can see kind of how it's taking shape. We're going to bend it here and here. And we're going to cut this off down here so we don't have this edge here. Uh, so it's just kind of right here by the light. So you guys, this time around I've been doing things with a little bit clearer head. Uh, some of you guys know about that. What we have here is, uh, you can see where I've cut it right across the right across the top of the vise here. And that helps a lot, doesn't wiggle as much, gives you a good guideline, makes a nice and smooth cut. So there we have it. And we're gonna do the same with this side. That looks great. Okay, and then we'll start cutting it. All right, you guys, so it is coming together. You can see how that's gonna work. It just bends at the tabs here, and uh, that way there's not big protrusions out here. So, uh, in order to get a more precise bend, and none of this garbage here, um, this actually allows us to come down about there, and we want to bend it right in the middle of those two. Okay, there's one. There's number two. So there it is. That is a new and improved bracket. Much, much better. Now all I need to do is just file down the rough edges and uh, and then mount it all, all back together. Okay, so here is the final bracket. It's nice and smooth. The edges are polished and whatnot. Um, you know, obviously there's still... It's not cut perfectly straight in places, but this this should do. Now the only concern that I have is that this is pretty short, a pretty short distance from those bolts. So this isn't going to stick out as far as the other, but that should be okay. We should have enough clearance for everything that's important back here. Alright you guys, I just wanted to show you the difference between the old rack and the new rack. And uh, the new rack is obviously a lot smaller. Uh, there's a lot less uh, distance to the, well, maybe only about a half an inch. But still, that, that does make a difference. Um, and then, uh, obviously, it's more polished around the edges and things like that. And it should, it should work and fit better. Uh, also, whereas uh, I actually had to file out that hole, uh, this hole will not need to be filed because it's elongated. So, the whole thing is easier. The only difference between the two is that this, I just cut longer into here and off right here instead of right here. Because to fold this, I had to cut that anyway. So... That's the way to go, guys. Uh, this, should, this should look really good. I'm going to bolt it on right now and see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, even though the bend wasn't perfect, uh, when I tighten these bolts up, it, it basically made, its, it made a new bend. And so this is on there nice and tight now. It's not going anywhere. These bolts are strong and stable. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Ready for me to mount lights on it. All right, guys, so kind of in my unconventional way that I do pretty much everything, uh, I've decided that I'm actually, I actually would just uh, put vinyl on this. And uh, yeah, there's some tops and bottoms and stuff right there. There's 
little bit of shine up there. That's okay though, I think it looks pretty cool and it eliminates all the holes so it looks like a more uh, fabricated piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the lights onto here and then bolt it on and show you how it looks. Should be great. Okay guys, so with the vinyl on there, uh, yeah, <laughs> red. I'm gonna go with red for a while. I can always take it off and put something else on. I mean, it's a snap to take this thing off and put it back on, so. I uh, went with red. Uh, I could have gone black. black. Black would probably look cooler. But when you do it to your bike, you can do whatever you want. But for now, the thing is on there. It's stable. The whole light bracket is fantastic. That thing is not going anywhere. And it looks a lot smoother than those big edges coming out. So this is kind of phase two of the, uh, of the whole, you know, light mod. I'm actually going to do a big fairing now where I uh, come up. Oh, my gosh. If you look in there, you can see my, yeah, it's hot. Just relax, it's hot. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a fairing that probably comes up under here. Um, I'll let you guys in on it. Sorry that this is such a mess, you guys. I'm That's just how I roll sometimes. I'll get it all cleaned up soon. Mom, promise. Uh, anyway, as you have probably seen in old, old videos, um, I did the KLR uh, paint strainer mod that goes over the light. I'm actually gonna integrate that here. Obviously, it's not gonna look like this. Uh, the fairing will probably come up from the bolts like this and have a nice uh, curve around here and uh, come up here so no big rocks are gonna go blast into those lights and then it'll wrap up and then I'll have kind of a rally fairing coming up there. So that's the idea. All right guys, so this is one way that you can definitely do things and it doesn't look too bad, but I kind of wanted to go for the full rally fairing look. So uh, we've gone ahead and undone these. You can see those got a little bit chewed up, but that's all right. We're gonna build a whole new one that comes up under here and comes over and around and basically has a nice big uh, wind fairing there. It's gonna look awesome. It's gonna fold around. It'll have uh, protection for the lights. You guys, this thing's gonna be sick. Just stick around. Okay guys, so right now I am just penciling a very, very rough draft on this piece of uh, paper here. I'm just gonna mark right here. And this is where the bottom of the light is here. So yeah, I'm just basically penciling it, you know, penciling a template that I could uh, possibly use. So I'm just gonna pencil this in, and then I'll actually um, make a better template uh, out of another piece that I have, and then off of that template, I'll finalize the plastic. So we're just trying it out. Okay, you guys, so we will be making our final template off of this piece right here. Um, and I'm gonna do some measuring, and this is just, this first one obviously is just very rough. This one is going to be, I'm going to take as much, you know, pay as much attention to this template um, as I would the final product because this is going to turn into the final product. Um, just basically want to make sure that uh, I've got nice straight lines and uh, that everything looks good. So it's time to get out the pencil and the ruler and go nuts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the template is ready to go. Um, that's how it looks. And it'll probably be, need to be trimmed up along the sides, but I can do that uh, in post. All right, so uh, we're gonna see if this is gonna pan out. As you can see, I've taken an X-Acto knife and just uh, lined, pretty much traced that uh, outline. So um, <laughs> we're gonna see if this pans out. I have uh, high hopes that it will. Okay, so here I've got a heat gun. And we're just going to basically uh, push this so it's flat. Okay, you guys, so here we have uh, the, the uh, fairing cut out of the template. And now we've got to bend these edges to go across like that. Uh, that should look really cool with our light. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. 
All right, this keeps getting more and more ghetto, but I've got my uh, paint strainer here. This has been formed to curve around the headlight. And we're gonna go ahead and put this over that because this the paint strainer will actually be fitting under it. Um, and then to keep this flat right here while I bend these sides down, I just found this piece of wood. And I'll just put the piece of wood right there just to keep things nice and steady while I heat that up and uh, bend it down. Let's give this a shot. Okay guys, so I got frustrated and I forgot to film the last part of it. It's basically a huge quagmire, but um, there's obviously rough edges. There always is going to be on a DIY project by me. This project, you know, it's it can be done as serious as you want to take it. Um, so if you want to make it really, really serious, you know, get some Kydex, do a really good job, you know, you can do that. If you want to just use a trash can like I did, you can do that. and. It doesn't look too bad. Um, this is the paint strainer on the inside, and uh, I'll come back here. Uh, I just got some washers and basically bolted that right into the plastic here with some big washers on both sides. So that's how that's on there. Um, painted it black, and then down here I actually cut this and then uh, folded it in just slightly. So the bottom of the paint strainer is actually. Um, resting on the bottom of this and then this goes down obviously bolts into there but you know it's pretty cool the paint strainer is gonna help it keep its uh, rigidity right here I don't know I, I kind of like it um, it's definitely it's definitely homemade it's definitely ghetto nobody's gonna come up and wow hey where did you buy that that was must have cost a lot of money no um, but it is uh, function over form so there you have it um, all finished. I don't know, there's definitely things I would change, there's definitely things I would redo. All in all, not too bad. So thanks you guys for watching, and uh, much love, ever right out. All right guys, so as you can see, I did get a chance to take it out and just beat the heck out of it in the wilds over some whoops and jumps and things, and it held up great. No loose screws, no problems, um, the lights are fantastic, and it actually offered a lot of wind protection on the highway getting there. So, um, you guys show me what you do. Time to get creative and show me how you create your own fairings, do some DIY projects, use this as some inspiration, and get some cool things done. And when you do that, make sure to tag me at Everride on Instagram or send it to me on Facebook because I'd love to see it. Thanks, guys. Much love, guys. See you later. Everride out.